Steve. Steve uh, Mr. Resonated. McCarnan, my Libran brother. Yes. Tell me the, c- the question that's that we're all burning the. We're he- <laughs> 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 all burning. Are here. I'm burning. Reason inside. why I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm burning inside. Fire to know. Please tell <laughs> us what is the apocalypse. What will be the end of the world? Uh, hopefully not the weapon. But I don't know if people people believe that this world's going to crash. Uh, maybe the aliens will give it, take care of us. They'll, but come, they'll come and save us after the fact, or they're going to come. Or if that. they uh, they if they believe that this uh, the resources are actually failing, they might come and pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just our good luck with that. Hear myself say <laughs> that sounds random. <laughs> They're the babysitters from beyond. Yeah, exactly. Like the, all right, the guys, inter- it's intergal- time to go. Intergalactical babysitters, like, okay, you've reached the age. It's time to, time to get out of here. I really hope it's not the weapon, though. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure if I believe it. When you say the weapon, weapon. The what do you mean specifically? I don't know. Whatever, uh, whatever. Which one's gonna? They're gonna. Whoever wants to create, which I hope doesn't happen. You really don't mean Justin Bieber? Them? What? You really mean Justin Bieber, yes? Yeah, for a lot of people's uh, <laughs> 14-year-old minds, but I wasn't the first one to say that all the money in the world belongs to 14-year-old girls. <laughs> 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 they are packing a lot. I yeah. say they do control quite a, a bit. It's, it's <laughs> I, I mean, that was, I don't know how it long is said that yeah. in the early 90s, and you're like, it's still <laughs> fucking today. He's like a it's robot f- created by the government, you think? Bieber? Bieber. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Maybe that'll be the. But but this. not by ours. He's Canadian. Oh. Canadian government trying to fucking sneak in there through the back door. That's good. They'll start <laughs> letting fourteen-year-old girls vote, and that'll be the end of the country. Oh my god. Vote. That'll be it. Bieber will become president. Oh god. Do uh, so at bad. that point we would One all nation kill ourselves. Under twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you guys know which year is the most confident year in a female's life? 27. Don't say 14. It's 9. Get nine. the fuck out of here. I heard this. Cause right before fucking puberty. And before, all yeah. the, before all their insecurities. It's, it's yeah. before, it's <laughs> before they worry about, basically it's before they worry about beauty. Yeah. This guy who I worked with, his, uh, his wife's a massage therapist, and she has a client that's like this biggest feminist, and she's been like studying it her whole life, and she told him that information, like the fem- the one year female's so confident is the age. So you're old. saying nine. you're saying my queen is nine years old. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the so that's yeah. the girl I'm gonna marry. <laughs> so basically, daddy issues kick in at ten. <laughs> well, with, with, with that justification, <laughs> well, less well, isn't so bad. Well, this is your best shot. You're not. Did they say nine what nine years old? What is? Do we know what it is for guys? Do we know what the no, age is for men? That's I would, that, that would be fascinating because I bet it's got to be a lot older. It's got to be like thirty-five. If somebody had a smartphone, they could figure this out. <laughs> if somebody what cared do you guys, enough, what do you guys think? <laughs> it's a lot of work. What do you think? I don't want to know because if I'm the wrong age, you know that fucks up my whole fucking mindset. You know. Right. 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 Well, it's gonna be. It's probably fucking something teenage for guys because it's like that's when you're just so full of testosterone and you don't know any better and you just think you're the shit for no good reason. Like Eighteen, maybe. Yeah, but confidence, confidence, the confidence or false confidence. That's what I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't that's know. Like, like cockiness is a false confidence. That's right. not confidence. But that's what like that's what the media puts out. Like the media wants you to believe that you're at your peak at eighteen. In the fucking reason. corporations, man. No, seriously. <laughs> think about every movie. Though. Oh, yeah. Every story is about a fucking. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. Because they're the ones who go out like like you're 35. Like but they always like, have. Ah, 30, I gotta but save. But they always you know? have 30 year olds save playing 18 year olds. So is that? Right. So is it 30? Right. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's when you're most confident to play an 18 year old. That's why everybody moves to Los Angeles because they want to be 18 again. That's when you move to <laughs> 902. 40 year old. <laughs> yes, yes. 18's a drinking age in Canada and in, in Mexico. London. And you think about it, it's like okay, when you're 18 years old, you're allowed to drink alcohol compared to here where they're 21. To me, I feel like they make it do it at a younger age, so they eat shit really fast. Yeah. <laughs> so by their 20s, they're like, okay, I think I'm going to try something compared to us in America. Well, we if they're going to give everyone health care, they're like, well, we need to start fucking up your liver a little earlier. Right. Well, the other get thing that is, money. they should give you alcohol for like two years before you start driving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like having it the other way around what is the stupid. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like you should be yeah. able to know how to drink first. Exactly. Before, you, before you know how to drive. I completely, I completely agree you with you. Someone just took you themselves out of the fucking president's <laughs> <No>. pool. <laughs> 
Travis, I completely you agree You should with know that. how to handle yourself when you're drunk before it's you can start driving. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Holy God. <laughs> you don't think that's a good idea? I don't uh, think I, that's a good idea I don't, I, I agree that is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't uh, agree with teaching people how to drink, first see, of all. My you know, <laughs> My Libra no. brother understands. No, you got to teach people how to drink. No. You can't so fucking let them, like, all right. So if you prohibit your kids from ever knowing anything about alcohol, what's the first thing they do when they go off to fucking college? They get fucking obliterated get, drunk, exactly. fucking pass out, like, like fucking and some then dudes they go pass them around at the fucking party and fuck them while they're asleep and passed out. All yeah, right. nah. but we don't need to hear if, about what you did in college. If they, if, they, <laughs> if, they do that, if they do that at an age before they're really experimenting with their sexuality, they'll they'll get too fucking hammered. And then by the time they're well, like you 18, obviously can't give. They'll be like, yeah, fucking. right, I know how to handle my fucking liquor. <laughs> am, am, I so, am I so fucking, fucking square yeah. that I'm just thinking, oh, maybe you teach your children responsive goddamn See, ability? I don't know. Like, well, that's what, that that's what you're teaching them. all areas of their life, not specifically like, well, this is how you shotgun a beer. If you don't drive <laughs> after you shotgun a beer. See, I, I'm, like, a, where I'm a, a victim. Where the fuck yeah. are y'all from? I'm, I was raised. <laughs> this was is how you avoid the cops when you're high. Stop yelling over each other. Jesus. Right. This is what happens when start you teach make, kids how to drink at an early age. making sense. <laughs> I didn't know this guy know. was so animated. Mikey, what were you saying? Okay. Being, be, well, I'm the youngest of six, and I was totally, my parents, when you're six. Travis you, is number Mormon six. Too. Number six. <laughs> okay. Parents are totally over raising you, and they let the kids fucking raise you. And I was like, it, it nothing what, fazed me. What, uh, are you six of six? I'm number six. I'm oh, the baby of the family. Uh, That's why I ask for everybody's goddamn attention. Right. Well, you got a lot of clothes. I'm the uh, youngest, too. Yeah, that no, can't exactly. be an accident. That's, yeah, exactly. See, he knows. Yeah. They didn't buy you I was shit. dressed. They're just like, here. No. Oh, yeah. The car, my first car, it was my mom's, Hand my sister's, my brother's. Oh, God, yeah. Then I ran it to its grave. <laughs> You're all your friends in high school. Like, Where'd you get that vintage shirt, bro? Yeah. <laughs> No, but that was before it was cool. So that was, yeah. now it's cool. But it uh, exactly. I was going to say, it's not cool when you're wearing hand me downs only after you pay twice the price. Pay 60, yeah. You have to pay $60 hand me down. <laughs> Dude, your brother wore that same hypercolor shirt when he was in my class. <laughs> hypercolor shirts were awesome. Oh god. TNC Surf Company. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, that's funny shit. Uh, where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, oh, oh. Being John Derby wants to explain why you shouldn't teach kids how to drink no, responsibly. Let's not get back on that. You son of a bitch. No, <laughs> you shouldn't sense, teach right? you shouldn't teach kids or anyone how to drink. I'm teach not people to be that. responsible. Yeah. It's but about, it's but about drinking is a is a uh, something that is uh, it's socially a choice. And if acceptable. you make that choice, you need to make it responsibly. No, it's about having all the civil liberties and about you being responsible for fucking raising your children right. Yes. Like everything should be available and honestly, you should probably learn how to deal with drugs before you Go out yeah. to the yeah. world anyway. Like driving right. should be twenty one. You, you should be you know given. Like, you should be given information. Okay, I, I agree with you in the sense that if they pushed the driving age, I would be okay with how that. How many people die in car accidents, and how what percentage of those are unexperienced sixteen to twenty one year olds? Like, I, I, I'm uh, sure it's, a high, I'm sure it's very super high, high percentage. Or drunk you're drivers. Aggressive. Two separate exactly. points, though. Exactly. Two se I, I wouldn't disagree if they wanted to be like, yeah, you can't drive till you're twenty. Hey, that's fine. Fuck it. You know, set up a system that allows that. That's okay. But would but you? To, but the solution is not. To Teaching people how to fucking drink at fourteen. No, but in Italy, in, so they don't in, drive like an in asshole. several European countries, the, the exactly. kids are drinking wine, you know, at dinner. You and know, what like, is it? That has and they don't have those driving. problems. They don't have no, those no, problems. It, it, they they're two separate much. things. Because they don't have to drive. Any, like most people in European countries, don't drive as much as we fucking do. Like, yeah, but we're so like hardwired to fucking like like chill the fuck out relax understand life first and then go out and do shit yeah we're so like we have no idea what's going on we're gonna cram everything into each other and fucking kill each other and then do a study of why that's happening rather than taking it from the beginning where you're just like you know what you should probably be able to deal with some alcohol before you can drive 